I'm Patrick Stevenson. I'm 28 years old. I'm an earth science major at Western Oregon University, and biking drives my life. Seconds. Uh-oh. Four, three, two, one. Get it, go! Oh my gosh! I think of it as uh, part of my life to get out there and uh, ride and build. Go move some dirt around and a little bit while after that, go ride it with my bike. Uh, on December 22nd, 1996, uh, I was 13 and elk hunting with my dad. I lost two fingers on my right hand, my, my pinky and ring finger. Going through various stages of my life, I've had their various ups and downs and arduous uh, tasks that I've had to fulfill. And I think it made me a better person overall, a more humble person, but uh, also a more, uh, I don't want to say hardened, but able to adapt to life's difficulties in a better format. And so going through various stages of my life, I've had their various ups and downs and arduous uh, tasks that I've had to fulfill and get me down and I can still do the things I want to do. They, they, I think that gathers a little bit of respect and give a little tip of the cap and say, you know, maybe that, this isn't that easy for him. And Grandma's house. Why Grandma's house? Because it's warm and she bakes really good food and she loves me and I always have a bed and she has a really great dog and my grandpa runs around and he sings songs from the 40s and he calls Grandma Sweet Pea. It's so cute. And they make the bed together and they do the dishes together. Oh, I love my grandparents. I'm into rock climbing so my special place is um, Smith Rock. And it's just, just a place to escape, you know, like just focus on the here and the now, just to get away from everything. I don't think I have a specific special place that I feel like is my own. I like being between places. Um, I'm really into traveling and stuff like that, and so I think I feel most comfortable when I'm like on a train or an airplane, bus, car, or something, because you're always either going somewhere or you're going back home, and they're both positive things, they're both good things. My so special place? Yeah. A basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> Knew it. The best part about special places, you know, what, what makes a place special, they kind of push the limits in your normal everyday life and make you, make you realize that you're alive, as cheesy as that sounds. If you don't get out to them and you don't see it, you just, you just kind of are a drone in the, in the drone society, and it's not that fun. Life is really good in special places. This particular special place is amazing because it's a spot that pretty much everyone that comes down here looks at for a long time. You think about it, you dream about it, you have nightmares about it, but one day you finally get in here with the skill and the right crew and the ability. It works out, and it just feels utterly fantastic to be in this special place. Now we're gonna go watch Andrew flop into the special place himself. What is it about Black Rock that makes it your special place? Makes Black Rock special. Um, it's 
my canvas. Uh, everybody has an artistic side to them, and I don't know, in some ways I think that's my canvas, and I help try and kind of, uh, well, I paint my life on it in the form of dirt and uh, wood, and try and do freedom of expression, and it turns out that a lot of what I like to do out there and how I like to build and ride uh, coincides with a lot of other people and how they like to like to ride their bikes so it's a it's a win-win it's I do it for myself but as a byproduct uh, it helps other people enjoy their uh, their riding time so that's that's something pretty cool I think yeah so uh Black Rock then is with this, all kinds of interesting things to ride on. I was attracted to people from British Columbia and much of the western United States, Minnesota, California, Utah, Nevada, uh, Washington. I've seen plates from lots of different states. <laughs> We're from, uh, I was from Vancouver and I ride, do a lot of riding there, Whistler and everything. And I would say that here are some of the best trails I've ever ridden. So going through various stages of my life, I've had their various ups and downs and arduous uh, tasks that I've had to fulfill. And uh, riding is something that isn't necessarily easy for me. I'm I'm going to say openly, I'm not the best out there, but uh, I give it my all, and I think that's part of it. But when people realize what I do, when I really show them what kind of building and biking I do. And then they also take into account what kind of, I mean, I hate to say it, but physical uh, impairments I have, but yet I'm over able, I'm able to overcome that and get beyond it and not let it get me down and I can still do the things I want to do. Like this place, Black Rock, you can ride to the top. You know, you just can't get as, t as much runs in as you could, like I say, at a ski resort but there's not a whole lot of places around this area where you can have a dedicated way to the top, you know, that's kind of, that's the hard part of the sport. I like the challenge of riding up and riding down, you know, doing both, and I've done up and back twice in a day, and which is a pretty good workout. Uh, <laughs> chairlift. <laughs> uh, yeah, chairlift, so you gotta hike it. Um, Does that add or take away from it? Both. It's good because if it's a chairlift, you can do lots more runs and it's a lot easier and the access is a lot better and a lot more people show up. Okay. But because there's no chairlift, um, not a lot of people ride it. So the trails stay cleaner and smoother and in better condition longer without It's pretty them. cool because there's a lot of different trails and a lot of different um, qualities or whatever for different abilities and stuff, which is nice where, you know, a beginner can come out here and ride and not get, you know, have to be pushed to go off some big drop or anything, but yet yeah, can also uh, push the sport as far as uh, the big, huge wooden stunts and the drops and jumps and stuff. So it definitely offers a lot to all abilities. Um, it's it's challenging. Uh, it's challenging, but it's it, once you kind of learn how it's laid out, it's not scary in the point where I mean you can you can ride at your own level at Black Rock. You don't have to ride at above your head. You can ride at a level that you're somewhat comfortable with. I think I could spend a long time and not see enough. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, there's lots. It's lots of trails, it seems, and lots of stuff on the trails. And just, it's smooth. <laughs> it's, it's smooth. You don't, you don't get that everywhere. And uh, everything makes sense, like mathematically, the speeds and the distances of the jumps and stuff are very very well done. As far as mountain biking going and uh, goes and big jumps and corners, berms, drops and man-made features and stunts, this is probably some of the best I've ever seen. I grew up racing on steep, steep stuff so I enjoy the shoots and jumps and different things to play around, different types of terrain. Still has some really good riding there. 
but the stuff here is really good and it just makes you want to smile. Chris Egan, he's the uh, Flow Cup coordinator guy. He's, he's, Flow Cup is his, uh, it's kind of his little baby. He's also a trail manager and a board member for Black Rock, but uh, the Flow Cup is its own entity and uh, you know uses the Black Rock trails to, to have the race. I'm a full pro. They want sponsorship through Ozonic and O'Neill, and I've ridden it all sorts of different places all over America and I keep coming back here. This is my fourth or fifth time here this season and I'm just sitting here looking at the rocks before my race run, having some fun. I mean, I've been building and riding out there going on six years now. So mm -hmm. he's always um, asking me to go up there with him and obviously he needs a ride and so, <laughs> so it ends up being uh, my son that's the real, real stimulus for all of this. Yeah, he's uh, he's five, and he started. I got him racing downhill now, and oh, he wow. raced his first uh, downhill race at Ski Bowl uh, a couple weekends ago. So, five years old oh. and downhill. And you look a little younger than most of the people out here. No, there's actually a kid that I saw that was 12. I'm 13. Okay. Yeah. Wow. When did you get into biking? 